the AMD Radeon the RX 9060 XT is going to be the latest addition to the Radeon lineup and while AMD has yet to fully confirm the specs, we now have some key details from recent leaks. The most interesting revelation. The RX 9060 XT comes with two memory configurations, which could offer more flexibility for gamers and creators alike. Thanks to leaked information, we now know that the RX 9060 XT will come in both 16GB and 8GB GDDR6 variants. This aligns with earlier rumours, confirming that AMD is aiming to cater to different price points and user needs. The memory will be running across a 128-bit bus, which may limit bandwidth compared to higher-end models, but should still provide solid performance for 1080p and even 1440p gaming. One interesting detail is that the RX 9060 XT is set to feature the same 20 GBPS memory chips as the RX 9070 series. This should ensure fast data transfer speeds, minimizing bottlenecks in memory heavy applications and high resolution textures. While the 128-bit memory bus might seem narrow compared to some high-end GPUs, fast memory speeds help compensate for this limitation making the RX 9060 XT an efficient choice for modern gaming. The power requirements of the RX 9060 XT are relatively modest by today's GPU standards. It will reportedly use a single 8-pin power connector with a recommended power supply of at least 500 watt. Overclocked variants might require slightly more power pushing the requirement to around 550 watt. This power efficiency suggests that AMD is focusing on making the RX 9060 XT a more accessible option for gamers who don't want to upgrade their entire system just to accommodate a new GPU. Compared to higher-end graphics cards that demand multiple 8-pin or even 16-pin connectors, the 9060 XT appears to strike a good balance between performance and power consumption. Another key aspect of the RX 9060 XT's leaked specs is its display connectivity. The card is listed with three connectors, one HDMI 2.1 and two DisplayPort 2.1a. Notably, it lacks a fourth display output, which is often present on higher-end models. This has led to speculation that the RX 9060 XT is using a Navi 44 GPU, a smaller chip that may have origins in AMD's mobile GPU lineup. Smaller GPUs tend to have limited display connectivity, which could explain why this model doesn't include an additional port. If the RX 9060 XT is indeed based on Navi 44, it may share some architectural similarities with AMD's laptop GPUs, optimized for power efficiency and compact designs. While we don't yet know the exact number of GPU cores, the use of Navi 4X architecture hints that AMD is positioning this card as a mid-range solution, likely targeting 1080p and 1440p gaming with ray tracing capabilities. With the specs we have so far, the RX 9260 XT looks like a compelling option for gamers who want solid performance without breaking the bank. The dual memory configurations give users more choices based on their needs. The 16GB variant could be a great pick for content creators and those running high resolution textures, while the 8GB model may be more affordable for budget conscious gamers. The memory speed of 20GBPS should ensure smooth gameplay, and while the 128-bit memory bus isn't as wide as some might hope, AMD's memory optimizations could still make it a competitive performer in its price range. Gamers looking for a reliable GPU that handles modern titles at high settings should keep an eye on this card. When looking at the RX 9060 XT's potential rivals, two names stand out. NVIDIA's RTX 4060 Ti and Intel's Arc A770. These mid-range GPUs are already established in the market 
and AMD's latest card will have to bring something unique to stand out. Starting with the RTX 4060 Ti, NVIDIA offers both 8GB and 16GB variants, similar to the RX 9060 XT. Both GPUs also share a 128-bit memory bus, which means they will likely have comparable memory bandwidth. However, NVIDIA has a strong advantage with DLSS 3.0, its AI-powered upscaling and frame generation technology, which significantly boosts performance in supported games. While AMD's FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution, has improved over time, it still lags behind DLSS in terms of overall image quality and performance gains. That said, FSR is open source and works across multiple platforms, which could help AMD maintain its competitiveness. On the other side, Intel's Arc A770 is another potential challenger. It features 16 gigabytes of RAM, putting it on par with the RX 9060 XT's higher end variant. Intel's aggressive pricing strategy makes the Arc A770 an attractive choice, but driver stability remains a weak point. AMD has years of experience refining its GPU drivers, and its Radeon software suite is known for offering a smoother and more reliable experience. Ultimately, AMD's success with the RX 9060 XT may depend on pricing and efficiency. If AMD manages to undercut its rivals while maintaining strong rasterization and decent ray tracing, the RX 9060 XT could be the best mid-range choice for gamers. While there's no official word on the RX 9060 XT's release date, leaks suggest that it will be the first model in the RX 9060 series to launch. There's also no information yet on non-XT versions or an Rex 9050 lineup, so AMD may be rolling out its new GPUs in stages. As for pricing, AMD has historically positioned its XT models as slightly premium versions of its base GPUs. Given the current market trends, we could see the RX 9060 XT launching in the $350 i $450 range, though this is purely speculative. If AMD aims to stay competitive with Nvidia's 4060 Ti and Intel's Arc A770, it may have to be aggressive with pricing. The Radeon RX 9060 XT could turn out to be an interesting mid-range GPU with solid memory specs, decent power efficiency, and a focus on affordability. While we don't yet know its exact GPU core count or clock speeds, the leaked details suggest that it will be a capable option for gamers looking for strong performance in 1080p and 1440p gaming. Ultimately, whether the RX 9060 XT becomes a top recommendation will depend on its real-world performance, price, and how well it competes with Nvidia and Intel. With an official announcement likely coming soon, we won't have to wait long to find out. For now, these leaks give us an exciting preview of what's to come.